we have actually a almost identical question came from uh, someone on the professional staff of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and then from someone at Brookings. Uh, and what the questioner says is, Mr. LaRouche, I, I have found your discussion of this new China-Russia venture to be most interesting. And I agree with you that it can serve as a stepping stone for very significant developments. Not that it's going to solve all of the problems in the world, but again, that it at least puts us in the right direction. What I do not understand, and which I wish you would explain a little bit more, uh, is in some of your recent comments that I've seen on your website and that uh, your, your spokesman has discussed with us. You have said that what the Chinese are doing is essentially by investing hundreds of billions of dollars into this project, i.e. their investment is essentially denominated in U.S. dollars, that they are, in effect, giving those dollars more value than they have under current circumstances, that they are taking what is U.S. debt and turning it into an asset. And this is what I, I do not understand, and I wish that you would explain it uh, a little bit in a little bit more detail. Uh, people believe in the fairy tales, and the fairy tales is that value lies in a currency. A currency has no intrinsic value. No currency has an intrinsic value. Hmm? See, what's the value here? <laughs> the question is typical, though. It's typical for Russia, it's typical for some people in China, typical all over the world. They don't understand money. They think they do, and that's the biggest mistake. I would like to take money out in the backyard and shoot it, and, <laughs> and, and then give it, give it a new name, not money, and then people might understand it. But the essence of human existence and of economy is increase in the productive powers of labor. It is not, there is no intrinsic value in any substance or any currency, especially currency. It has no intrinsic value. A currency is simply a convention. It has no intrinsic value. The intrinsic value is physical, but it's physical in a general way, not in, simply in a way in something tangible. An what is an investment, you presume? Investment, it presumes, you, would, you invest certain assets, like physical assets. Don't talk about money, just talk about physical assets. A guy wants to start a business. He wants to start producing something. And he needs this following machinery, he needs these other physical assets and these skills and so forth. And he's going to put these together. And he's going to try to do what? He's going to try to produce more as a result of combining these resources than he put into it. He's going to get more value in terms of physical reality out of production than he contributed to start to funding the production. Sometimes it's called profit. Profit's a lousy, dirty word, but you can, you can use it sometimes, with my permission, under, under, my, <laughs> under my strict supervision, because people abuse it very much. Therefore, the value of a currency, insofar as it represents the purchasing of something useful, is, is expressed by its profitability, its physical profitability, not necessarily its money, monetary prop, prop, uh, value. So therefore, if I take a, a trillion dollars of U.S. obligations to the China, a trillion dollars worth of obligation which are denoted in Chinese assets. Huh? And they're just sitting there. Huh? No use. Nothing's happening to them. And they come along and I say, now let's, let's take, let me buy 
I guarantee or, 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 or pledge myself to support a trillion dollars worth of Chinese activity. Pledging these funds, these trillion dollar debt funds, for this purpose. Now, why am I going to do that? Because by investing that trillion dollars or what it can buy, in terms of the development of the economy of Asia and other things, I'm going to produce more than a trillion dollars worth of value. And therefore, by investing that in physical production, which involves a factor of growth of values, I'm increasing the wealth of the world. The wealth of the world does not lie in those dollars or those other currencies. The wealth of the world lies in the activation of the productive process. See, most people say that you know, accountants make money. They yeah, make money, unfortunately. <laughs> Which is why we have to put them in prison at times. <laughs> right? What we invest in, we invest in the power of labor, the power of the human labor, when equipped with certain means to produce more value for human beings than that labor and those resources represented beforehand. So if I take a trillion dollars of what the United States owes to China, and instead of letting it sit there as a debt waiting to be collected by China, which never will happen, we say we're going to take that debt and we're going to tell the United States we're going to invest that debt it has to us in this investment. Then everybody benefits because we bring together the means of creating new wealth. And therefore, what's important, what the, so don't, you, what you get this hakamakam crazy stuff that goes on and, and people talking about money, 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 investing money, investing money. Stop it. Get it out of Russia. Kick, I mean, the Russians are poisoned by this stuff about investment in money. They're, they're brainwashed into thinking, you know, ever since Gorbachev, they're brainwashed into thinking that investing in money, that money is the secret of, of, of wealth. It is not. As we should know, money has been destroying the wealth of the world, the real wealth of the world. Money can be slavery. No, the key thing here is this wealth is the degree that is invested in its equivalent, what is represented by what is invested in a way which results in an increase of the amount of real wealth, not money wealth, real wealth. And therefore, if you have a sane system of economy, the money value of wealth should conform and follow the actual physical wealth increase. In other words, if there's an increase in profit without an actual increase in physical wealth, it's a fraud. Typical of what goes on in the United States these days. You get less than what you pay for. It's by investing in things which result in a greater gain for humanity in terms of phys efficient physical values that you're investing in. And if you're investing in improving your nation in physical terms, you're profitable. If you're investing in money, you're a parasite. 